Hello, my name is Ken Eads. I'm a professor here at the Darden Graduate School of Business Administration. And I teach in the first year finance course, we call it Financial Management and Policies, which of course focuses on the fundamentals of finance to prepare our students for their second year of studies, and in fact their first year electives, which include finance electives as well. The way we organize the, the course is into six modules, and I'd like to speak to you uh, about one of those, which is in the first term of when we teach finance, it happens to be in the fall. Uh, this is our third module, and uh, we call that capital allocation and project valuation. This follows the second module, which is about capital markets and, and hurdle rates. Uh, the objective of the capital allocation uh, and project valuation module is to teach, teach students to use the principles that we've taught them about discounted cash flow, and in, and in particular, to reinforce the notion of using the cost of capital, capital to evaluate uh, a project investment uh, for the company. How do you create value? Uh, they've now learned what the notion is of the appropriate discount rate, what's the cost of capital to the company, the opportunity cost to putting those funds to use. Now we take them to the next step of estimating the cash flows for a project and present valuing those, calculating the net present value and deciding if it's a go or no go decision. This is the, uh, the culmination of, uh, of the uh, first term of our finance course and really brings all the techniques and all the principles together into this single decision. Uh, should, we make, should we allocate this capital within in the company? Uh, we use a variety of uh, cases for this. They're all case studies. Um, as an example, just to give you a link in, uh, the, a case that we would use just before coming into the capital allocation module would be a, uh, the, the Teletech case. This is a case which takes all the techniques for estimating cost of debt, cost of equity, and putting that together into a weighted average cost of capital. Of course, it has a little twist to it, and that is that students have to recognize that Teletech has different divisions, and those divisions have, should have different cost of capital because they have different risk characteristics. So it really puts the emphasis on risk and return and gets them ready to think about how to construct the correct discount rate to then evaluate projects. So when we start the capital allocation uh, module, we, uh, we walk before we run. We start with a simple case, that's, uh, we call it worldwide paper, uh, which is based upon an actual company, a paper company that made a large investment in its uh, paper producing process, a, a paper mill. So it's an old economy, big investment, smokestack kind of thing. Um, but it really focuses on the, the fundamentals of where are the cash flows coming from. Uh, is the company creating new revenues, which in this case they are a little bit, or are they saving money? And how much money are they saving? Where are they saving it? Over what years? How do you can put that into a cash flow? So it's heavy emphasis on calculating uh, cash flows, free cash flows, and then a next step, easy step to discounting that to evaluating uh, the project. So it, it is a comprehensive case, but it's, it's very basic. We then go from there to a, a, a uh, more, ex uh, what I consider a pretty exciting case. Uh, it's about Target Corporation. Now with Target, what we've done is we worked with uh, senior management to replicate their project evaluation process, which is uh, really uh, first-rate work. They create these uh, dashboards that uh, summarize all the investments that they're looking at which are usually focused on new stores, either selling a new store or creating a new store, refurbishing a new store, because obviously Target is a retail company. But it has an elaborate set of sensitivity analyses around some of the fundamental drivers of what creates value for a retailer. Uh, the location of, of, the, 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 of the store and the, the rental rates for that, uh, the sensitivity to 10 plus or minus 10 percent in, increase, decrease in sales, the things that you would think about that can change the answer to, to an investment. So this really focuses students on, first of all, the overall process of how companies decide how to allocate capital, because this gets into the organizational issues of who makes the decision and who's on the decision committee, et cetera, as well as the many sensitivities that can change, change the answer. Focus on the sensitivities, not just uh, the basic calculation. Following the target case, we have another uh, interesting case which uh, elaborates on a lot of different issues. It's called Victoria Chemical. Uh, this case has the spreadsheet already done for the students, uh, similar to target in that, in, in that aspect. 
But it's a very elaborate uh, spreadsheet, 15 years of cash flows, I believe it is, uh, terminal values, uh, uh, working capital cash flows. And the students then are asked more as a, to react to what they see in the analysis and to evaluate the analysis. Is it complete? Are the cash flows all relevant? Uh, is the discount rate appropriate for the cash flows? In the case of Victoria Chemical, the discount rate used is not appropriate for the cash flows because we use uh, real cash flows, in other words, no inflation added, and yet the discount rate is a nominal uh, discount rate, exactly what we've told them to calculate in the uh, cost of capital module, but um, that doesn't match with real cash flows, so they have to recognize, gee, we need to put inflation into those cash flows. Uh, there's also other issues come up in the case, in the Victoria case, about um, the, the method that the decision is being made and the management now is proposing to lump together uh, another project which has a obviously negative net present value but gee, maybe senior management will notice if we put this inside the other project. So there's actually an ethical issue that, that comes up. Uh, we found that this case is a, is a good summary analysis of, uh, of the, both the techniques and the concepts for the students. And incidentally, this works very well for executives because of all the strategic issues that come up in terms of decisions have to be made. But uh, after Victoria, then we, uh, we have our exam case, which uh, we use a variety of different cases for that. We often rewrite them and change the name, change the dates. But that case always has components in it, uh, at a minimum, of some sort of financial projections um, and, and analysis, ratio analysis, plus uh, calculating the cost of capital. What's the cost of debt? What's the cost of equity? Uh, what's the appropriate weighted average cost of capital for the company? And then what's the appropriate discount rate to use for a project investment, which will be at the heart of the, uh, the comprehensive case? So the capital allocation module comes right at the end of the first term, right before uh, the exam, the first finance exam that we give our students. And it always captures their attention, not just because of the richness of the content, but because they know this is the punchline to all of the materials that they've studied in the first term of first year finance.